Hey, good morning and happy day after Christmas. I hope your Christmas was amazing. Hey, I wanted to share something with you real quick. I shared with the Highland Mortgage sales team uh, here this morning on, on our uh, morning sales call. And uh, that's my, my thought on this is that the next 90 days, in my opinion, are gonna be the best 90 days for your buyers. Now, here's what I want you to be thinking about is I, I think there's a couple of things driving that. One is typically we see a pretty large increase in activity in the second week of January, really through like March and April. And to put some numbers to that increase, I've been tracking these numbers for about 10 years. And uh, typically we see versus October, November pre-approvals, we see a pretty significant increase, like let's call it 60 to 70%. When we compare that to December's pre-approvals, in that time, we're gonna get in the next six weeks probably well over a 100% bump. Here's what I also know is that there's a lot of pent up demand in the market, right? Buyers have been on the fence for a long time because of the high rate environment that we've been in for a pretty long time. And loan officers, real estate agents, the media even is doing a really great job right now of sharing, hey, interest rates are down a percent and a quarter, maybe even more just in the last six or seven weeks, and those buyers are gonna come into the market. Now, a lot of you are right now seeing purchase contracts come in with seller concessions on them. I think over the next 90 days, you're gonna see such an influx of buyers that by the time we get to the spring and summer buying season, that those seller concessions are gonna turn into bidding wars, and right, that's just gonna drive home affordability even higher. And those are a couple of reasons why I say I believe the next 90 days are probably the best 90 days for the buyers that you're working with. So what do you do about it? My question LOs is to you, if your agents have a buyer in the next 90 days, are you who they are thinking about when they have a referral? And what are some of the things that you can be doing to make sure that you are who they're thinking about, right? I would ask, hey, what are some things that I can do to help you get some buyers off the fence? Make sure that we're educating um, our referral partners about what's going on in the market and what we expect to see. Hey, maybe do some first time home buyer workshops, maybe some move up buyer workshops. But the big thing is you gotta get visible and you gotta get visible now. Now I know a lot of us have become really comfortable getting visible on social media and that's great. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't be visible there. I want you to keep doing what you're doing but it's also time to make sure that you're getting out of the marketplace and getting visible. And what I mean by that is you're shaking hands, you're kissing babies, you're meeting people, right? So get up in the morning, take a shower, shine your shoes, put on some work clothes, get out there and meet some people. This is gonna be a great time and I wanna make sure that you get to take advantage of it. If there's anything that you need, please know I'm always here to serve.